Ilhan Omar really stepped in at this time. The Minnesota Democrat desperately needed to remove herself from the political spotlight. Instead, Omar is fighting back in the middle of a firestorm and you won't believe what Ilhan Omar just said about Islam. Omar took part in a question and answer session at a Muslim Collective for Equitable Democracy event alongside Michigan Congresswoman and fellow squad member Rashid Atlaib. During the Q&A, Anya Osman Zanavid of Muslims for Progressive Values asked Omar to condemn female genital mutilation, which is still practiced in the Muslim world. This caused Omar to hysterically rant and rave about the unfair burden placed on her as a Muslim congresswoman to condemn this barbaric practice. I am, I think, quite disgusted I think to be honest that as Muslim legislators, we are constantly being asked to waste our time speaking to issues that other people are not asked to speak to because of the assumption exists that we somehow support and her for, the issue, Omar rounded. Omar continued demanding people ask her the same questions they would any other elected representative. So I want to make sure that the next time someone is in an audience and is looking at me and Rashida and Abdul, El Said, who ran for governor in Michigan last year, and, Virginia delegate, Sam, Rasaul, that they ask us the proper question that they would probably ask any member of Congress, any legislator, any politician, she added. The question is posed, could you and Rashida do this? And it's like how often, should I make a schedule, does this need to be on repeat every five minutes, should I be like, so today I forgot to condemn Al-Qaeda, so here's the Al-Qaeda one, today I forgot to condemn FGM, so here we go, today I forgot to condemn Hamas, you know, I mean, like, it is a very frustrating question that comes up, Omar added, so I would like, not just for you, but for everyone to know that if you want us to speak as politicians, American politicians, then you treat us as such, Omar concluded. While Omar eventually condemned the practice, Omar's rant about feeling pigeonholed by being asked the question also revealed once again how reluctant she is to renounce radical Islam. Omar made waves in a recent press conference where she refused to condemn Al-Qaeda. This came months after a video surfaced of Omar telling a Council on American Islamic Relations audience that the 9-11 attacks where Islamic terrorists murdered three. 000 Americans were just some people that did something. Omar's inability or unwillingness to renounce radical Islamic violence, whether it be terrorism or against innocent young girls, makes it easy for Donald Trump to define the Democrat Party by Omar's radicalism as the president heads into his 2020 re election campaign.